In this video, I'm going to discuss various methods for cleaning and preparing your model railroad track to run your trains. Welcome to Humanity Junction, where the city intersects with humans. Last week, Fishplate Films came out with a video titled Track Cleaning Do's and Don'ts, How Not to Clean Your Track. Since then, I've noticed an increase in track cleaning conversations. If you have not seen his video, please go watch it after you finish watching this video. The link will be in the description. What I would like you to take away from this video is that we need to start talking about track cleaning differently. It is not solely about cleaning the track. We should be discussing how to best prepare the track rails for ideal electrical conductivity and reducing oxidation. The old standby solution for track cleaning is the Bright Boy. When going through my trains from the late 1980s, I had several in the boxes. Over the last few months, I have found several other different types of abrasive track cleaners. In preparing your track, these should not be the first thing that you grab. These should only be used if you absolutely need some sort of abrasive that can sand or remove some of the metal on the top of the rail. There are times when this is necessary, but I would recommend it as a last resort. And after use, you need to be sure to clean up any of the tiny particles from the track or the cleaning material before running trains. Some examples of these abrasive track cleaners are the Bright Boy, the Perfect Cleaner, Track Cleaning Rubber, Kratex, and the Woodland Scenics Tidy Track Cleaning Kit. The next group of items are liquid cleaners that will clean the track, but not improve the electrical connection between the rails and the loco, or keep the rails from oxidizing. These include liquids like rubbing alcohol, lighter fluid, glass cleaner, nail polish remover, acetone, and contact cleaner. I do use 99% IPA for cleaning when using flux to solder the track joiners. I have an old toothbrush that I dip in the alcohol and then scrub the joiners. I use this as a cleaning agent, not as the last step of track preparation. Since IPA does evaporate, it is a decent choice for cleaning. I would not recommend any other type of IPA other than the 99% IPA. The other alcohol has too much water content and can increase track oxidation. Another cleaner that I do use is CRC's QD Contact Cleaner. According to the description on the CRC website, it is suitable for cleaning sensitive electronics and electrical equipment, evaporates quickly, leaves no residue, and is safe to use on all plastics. I do not spray this directly on the track, but will use a rag or a delicate pipe wipe. It has been recommended to me that even if a product says that it is safe for plastic, that we should still be careful with prolonged use on our model railroad plastics. Next, there are some products that can reduce oxidation to the rails, such as automatic transmission fluid. Although while it does reduce oxidation, it does not improve electrical conductivity. Finally, what should we be doing to prepare our tracks prior to operation? These next few products are designed to increase electrical conductivity as well as protect against oxidation. When applying them, it is good to remember that less is more. I started using CRC-226 after finding several conversations about it online. CRC is a company based in Pennsylvania here in the U.S. According to CRC, 226 is marketed as plastic safe lubricant, penetrant, and corrosion inhibitor that helps prevent electrical malfunctions caused by water penetration, humidity, condensation, or corrosion, restores resistance values, and helps stop current leakage. Here is a comment that I found in an NMRA publication about the use of these type of products. In checking the reviews for CRC-226 at the Home Depot website, there is a review dated March 29, 2013 by David that states, Use of lubricants on model railroad track is controversial among modelers. It is a balancing act between better conductivity and reduced traction. I have a DCC system and consistent electrical contact is essential for smooth operations. A few drops of CRC-226 on the rails makes a big improvement. It also helps with unreliable contact between delicate copper wires and tiny wheels. Products are sold specifically for model railroad use but in my experience, 226 works better and is much less expensive. The next product in this category is one that was once sold by Bar Mills Models as a track cleaning paste for long-lasting electrical pickup. Currently, I was able to find it being sold on Amazon. It is called Noox ID Special. While I've not used it yet, I've found from online sources that the best applicator is your finger and you should only apply a very thin layer on the rail. 
the last product I will mention in this category is Inox. Inox is made by a company based in Queensland, Australia. You can get Inox in the US on Amazon, but I have found the CRC products to be easier to acquire. From the specification, they have similar uses. Fishplate Films recommends Inox in his video. If you have done a comparison between Inox and CRC226, please let me know. Do you agree that we should change the conversation around track cleaning and start referring to it as track preparation? Have you used any of the three recommended products for track preparation, 226, NOx ID, or Inox? How have they worked out for you? Do you still believe that the track abrasive cleaners are the best method for track preparation? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments or questions below and hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and select the bell icon to be notified about future videos and join this community. Thank you and have a great day.